In this presentation, we're going to discuss about kernel debugging with VM Player and WinDebug. So, following are the steps to do this. First, we have to download and install VM Player from VMware site. It is a free download. Once you have installed that on a Windows operating system, you can start installing the target Windows OS inside the VM Player. Next step is to add a virtual serial port to the VM player. By default, it is not available. When you enable the virtual serial port, you have to make the other end of the virtual serial port as named pipe, which is the host end. Host is a machine in which VM player is installed, and target is a machine which is hosted by the VM player, or the target operating system we're gonna debug. So we are going to discuss about two operating systems. One is the target and the host. Target is the operating system which is being debugged. And host is the operating system which WinDebug is running and VM player is installed. After enabling the serial port, boot the VM, the target virtual machine, and enable debugging inside the virtual machine from msconfig. Next step is start WinDebug in the host operating system in kernel debugging mode and give the transport as named pipe and give the name of the named pipe which you have given in the step 4. Now restart the virtual machine and you are all set. So this is a basic setup we are trying to achieve here. So this is the host operating system which is hosting everything. For example it is the host operating system monitor you are seeing currently for this presentation and there are two applications running inside the host operating system one is WinDebug and another is VM Player inside the VM Player you have installed the target Windows operating system this is the target operating system which we gonna debug So the win debug running in the host and the target which is running inside the VM player is connected via named pipe. So this end of the named pipe is a serial port. It's a virtual serial port. So as far as this operating system is concerned, this is a serial port. So VM player translate that serial port, the virtual serial port, to named pipe. So this end is named pipe. So from the WinDebug standpoint, this is a named pipe. Now let's see a demo. So I have already installed VM Player. So I have VM Player here. And I have installed a Windows 8.1 as a target. So I am going to edit the virtual machine settings. So this is how you add a serial port. In that you can mention add in the hardware tab. So in that you can specify serial port. So here you have to select output to name pipe. So this is the host end of the serial port and next. Here you have to give a proper name. This name we need to remember as well. This is a name we have to give in the WinDebug because this is a name of the pipe from the host operating system standpoint. And finish. Once you do that you get something like this. So this is a serial port 2 so connect on power on this is on by default and I have named my pipe Windows 8 debug pipe whatever name you want you can keep this end is a server other end is a virtual machine click OK now what you can do is you can start the virtual machine So my VM is started. I'm going to msconfig. 
inside msconfig go to boot so this setting we have to do inside the target VM not the host advanced options debug enable debug port so we had serial port 2 when we enabled serial port virtual serial port inside the VM player settings so we have to select COM2 here because it was serial port 2 so check debug port and debug so by default these options are not checked click OK apply OK so before restart one of the things we can do is we can start the debugger for that I'm going to copy the name of the name pipe so this is the name of the name pipe which I'm going to use in my kernel debugging file kernel debug inside the WinDebug select com select pipe select reconnect give the name exact same name which you have given in the VM player click OK so you should see this message waiting to reconnect so now what is happening is the debugger is waiting for a reconnect from the VM player side that'll happen when you restart so I'm going to restart here so I'm connected so if I'm getting this it means that I'm connected so this particular VM is now under the control of this particular debugger so now you can break any time once it is connected you can break any time even before booting the windows so I have broken into the virtual machine now the virtual machine is completely frozen because it is under debugging so now I can type pretty much any command I want so there is only two process started it's in the very early stages of system boot just the session manager and the kernel itself so that is about the demo one of the things we have to take care of is your tools make sure that your tools are updated win debug vm player etc also it is a good idea to try a latest operating systems like windows 8 or 8.1 windows 7 etc this should work from XP and later even I have tried Windows 2000 but I don't recommend any operating system before that normally this is very straightforward if you are following the steps correct that's it thank you very much